Chapters 5 through 8 of the Song of Solomon, American Standard Version. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Sam Stinson. Chapter 5 I am come into my garden, my sister, my bride. I have gathered my myrrh with my spice. I have eaten my honeycomb with my honey. I have drunk my wine with my milk. Eat, O oh friends, drink, yea, drink abundantly, O oh beloved. I was asleep, but my heart waked. It is the voice of my beloved that knocketh, saying, Open to me, my sister, my love, my dove, my undefiled, for my head is filled with dew my locks with the drops of the night. I have put off my garment, how shall I put it on? I have washed my feet, how shall I defile them? My beloved put in his hand by the hole of the door, and my heart was moved for him. I rose up to open to my beloved, and my hands dropped with myrrh, and my fingers with liquid myrrh upon the handles of the bolt. I opened to my beloved, but my beloved had withdrawn himself and was gone. My soul had failed me when he spake. I sought him, but I could not find him. I called him, but he gave me no answer. The watchmen that go about the city found me. They smote me. They wounded me. The keepers of the walls took away my mantle from me. I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, if ye find my beloved. Tell ye that him, that I am sick from love. What is thy beloved more than another beloved, O thou fairest among women? What is thy beloved more than another beloved, that thou dost so adjure us? My beloved is white and ruddy, the chiefest among ten thousand. His head is as the most fine gold. His locks are bushy and black as a raven. His eyes are like doves beside the water-brooks, washed with milk and fitly set. His cheeks are as a bed of spices, as banks of sweet herbs. His lips are as lilies, dropping liquid myrrh. His hands are as rings of gold set with beryl. His body is as ivory work overlaid with sapphires. His legs are as pillars of marble set upon sockets of fine gold. His aspect is like Lebanon, excellent as the cedars. His mouth is most sweet. Yea, he is altogether lovely. This is my beloved, and this is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. End of chapter 5 Chapter 6 Whither is thy beloved gone, O thou fairest among women? Whither hath thy beloved turned him, that we may seek him with thee? My beloved is gone down to his garden, to the beds of spices, to feed in the gardens, and to gather lilies. I am my beloved's, and my beloved is mine. He feedeth his flock among the lilies. Thou art fair, O my love, as Terza, comely as Jerusalem, terrible as an army with banners. Turn away thine eyes from me, for they have overcome me. Thy hair is as a flock of goats that lie along the side of Gilead. Thy teeth are like a flock of ewes, which are come up from the washing, whereof every one hath twins, and none is bereaved among them. Thy temples are like a piece of a pomegranate behind thy veil. There are threescore queens and fourscore concubines, and virgins without number. My dove, my undefiled, is but one. She is the only one of her mother. She is the choice one of her that bare her. The daughters saw her and called her blessed. Yea, the queens and the concubines, and they praised her. Who is she that looketh forth as the morning, fair as the moon, clear as the sun, terrible as an army with banners? I went down into the garden of nuts, to see the green plants of the valley, to see whether the vine budded, 
and the pomegranates were in flower. Before I was aware, my soul set me among the chariots of my princely people. Return, return, O Shulamite, return, return, that we may look upon thee. Why will ye look upon the Shulamite, as upon the dance of Mahanaim? End of chapter 6 Chapter 7 How beautiful are thy feet in sandals, O prince's daughter! Thy rounded thighs are like jewels, the work of the hands of a skilful workman. Thy body is like a round goblet, wherein no mingled wine is wanting. Thy waist is like a heap of wheat, set about with lilies. Thy two breasts are like two fawns, that are twins of a row. Thy neck is like the tower of ivory, thine eyes as the pools of Heshbon, by the gate of Bath-Rabim. Thy nose is like the tower of Lebanon, which looketh toward Damascus. Thy head upon thee is like Carmel, and the hair of thy head like purple. The king is held captive in the tresses thereof. How fair and how pleasant art thou, O love for delights! This thy stature is like to a palm tree, and thy breasts to its clusters. I said, I will climb up into the palm tree, I will take hold of the branches thereof. Let thy breasts be as clusters of the vine, and the smell of thy breath like apples, and thy mouth like the best wine that goeth down smoothly for my beloved, gliding through the lips of those that are asleep. I am my beloved's, and his desire is toward me. Come, my beloved, let us go forth into the field. Let us lodge in the villages. Let us get up early to the vineyards. Let us see whether the vine hath budded, and its blossom is open, and the pomegranates are in flower. There will I give thee my love. The mandrakes give forth fragrance, and at our doors are all manner of precious fruits, new and old, which I have laid up for thee, O oh, my beloved. End of chapter 7 Chapter 8 O oh, that thou wert as my brother, that sucked the breasts of my mother! When I should find thee without, I would kiss thee, yea, and none would despise me. I would lead thee, and bring thee into my mother's house, who would instruct me. I would cause thee to drink of spiced wine, of the juice of my pomegranate. His left hand should be under my head, and his right hand should embrace me. I adjure you, O daughters of Jerusalem, that ye stir not up, nor awake my love, until he please. Who is this that cometh up from the wilderness, leaning upon her beloved? Under the apple tree I awakened thee. There thy mother was in travail with thee. There was she in travail that brought thee forth. Set me as a seal upon thy heart, as a seal upon thine arm, for love is strong as death, jealousy is cruel as Sheol, the flashes thereof are flashes of fire, a very flame of Jehovah. Many waters cannot quench love, neither can floods drown it. If a man would give all the substance of his house for love, he would utterly be contemned. We have a little sister, and she hath no breasts. What shall we do for our sister in the day when she shall be spoken for? If she be a wall, we will build upon her a turret of silver, and if she be a door, we will enclose her with boards of cedar. I am a wall, and my breasts like the towers thereof. Then was I in his eyes, as one that found peace. Solomon had a vineyard at Baal Haman. He let out the vineyard unto keepers. Every one for the fruit thereof was to bring a thousand pieces of silver. My vineyard, which is mine, is before me. Thou, O Solomon, shalt have the thousand, and those that keep the fruit thereof two hundred. Thou that dwellest in the gardens, the companions hearken for thy voice. Cause me to hear it. Make haste, my beloved and be thou like to a roe or to a young heart upon the mountains of spices. End of chapter 8 And also 
the end of The Song of Solomon, American Standard Version.